Hey guys, we have you outside, so it's going to be a little noisy. Um, the purpose of today's video is to show you the outcome of the two freeform geodes I did in the last week, week and a half, and I am going to show you what I do with the edges. So, here is solid gold, and boy is she bright. Unfortunately, there's going to be shadows. There's nothing I can do here. I'm gonna which way I stand, you're going to see them. But this is the true color that you're seeing right now because I'm blocking the sun. So you can see all the different layers and um, all the depth that was created. You can see the edges are very rough. So I have to sand those down, but the sides are pretty smooth they do have ridges from the silicone but I'm going to leave them alone and paint them with some uh, liquid leaf which I will also be showing you see this area here all the different interests and depth layers upon layers And this here, this beautiful chunky glitter that you're seeing right here is Laura Usher's new glitter, which is absolutely gorgeous. This one is called the 24K. And when you move this around or the light hits, it just is crazy. It's that big chunky glitter you're seeing. She has a bunch of different colors. If you haven't checked out her store yet you really should because you're gonna fall in love once you do she's got an array of colors and they're just magical different sizes also she has the big chunky like this and then this is also hers oh no that's on the other one I'll show you after um, she also has fine uh, particle size glitter as well but yeah so that's the 24 karat and now I will bring you over to the clear geode that I injected the resin into. Uh, the resin took over, especially the gold. So I've learned a few things by doing this. Uh, first thing being that you can only, if you want to keep that 3D look, you need to fill the mold to the almost to the top with clear and just inject the resin one time do your swirling and leave it alone i unfortunately did not do that so i had to do a second layer and it covered up all of the first layer it is still very very pretty but it was not what i was aiming for so i'm gonna try it again uh the glitter you see sparkling that is laura's also and um underneath there's a uh, another glitter of hers, but you can't really see it because I have it covered up with rock. Uh, it, you really should check it out, guys. You're going to love it. So overall, I'm happy with the way they both came out. Now I'm going to show you how I display these. Okay, so you can either display them like this with the plate stand. Be mindful when you're designing your geode before you do the silicone um, be mindful if you want to use a plate stand you have to design it in a way where it will fit in a plate stand um, this one I could flip it around so that the top is up at the bottom and it will still fit so you could display it like that you can display it with um, you can glue some o-rings some just metal rings on the back and hang it off a wall that way um, you could probably attach a picture hanging kit to it using some E6000. You can use a couple of command strips, the more heavy weight ones. They, they come, I think it's 6, 12. They have different pounds, but something like this would probably be a 12 pound, two 12 pound strips. Um, or you can put it in a shadow box. That looks pretty too and hang it on the wall. So. There's different things you could do with them. 
but anyway now I'm going to get to the point where I show you just what I do with the edges here and uh, we can finish up these two geodes and move on to the next project before I do that I wanted to show you the back of this one so now if I had only done the one um, layer with the clear filled up to the top I could have gotten it to stay like this you see how it's just like nice cat here um, it's more solid the mica lines and I could have swirled it nicely and uh, gotten a really nice design but because I had to do that second layer I lost all of that so I just wanted to show you that quick okay so when you do this you definitely want to wear a mask I'm going to have a mask on so I will not be talking what I'm going to do is just the edges up here not the sides the sides I will show you bear with me for a minute the sides are grooved but they're not really sharp so I'm going to just sand this upper edge right here and then I'm going to fill this I'm going to paint this with the gold leaf um, if I was going to sell it this one I would probably sand the edges the best that I could to get them flat and then do a top coat but because I want to keep this for my art room I'm just going to fix it up so I don't get hurt on it if I ever have to move it okay so I'm gonna turn on the sander I'm not gonna talk I'm gonna have my mask on uh, a lot of resin dust flies in the air when you do this so you definitely want to wear a mask and uh, I'm just gonna do a little area and then I'm going to pause the camera finish it and then come back when it's time to do the painting of this side so here we go this little sander I got at Walmart it was $19 I believe it's just a, a I don't even know what it's an orbital sander maybe it's called I'll try to link it below <laughs> going around the edge here now if I like I said if I was going to sell this I would do all around and then do a top coat because you know you don't want the rough edges here and the, the scratch marks on the edges but I'm not gonna waste the resin because I'm just keeping it in my room up on the up on a shelf so I don't want to waste the resin and uh, I'm just gonna clean it up once I put the rubbing alcohol there it'll shine up enough for me but you would definitely have to do a top coat if you were to do this all right so I'm gonna pause, pause you guys finish this up on both of them and then in a blink of an eye be back okay guys so I'm back inside and the next step for me is to wipe this down with some alcohol And then we will do the sides. 
So I use these handy wipes here. They're pretty, um, they don't have a lot of lint that stays behind, I notice. So they work good for me. And I just keep my rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. And then I'll just douse this rag. I'm using 91% alcohol. And then you want to just give it a good rub down. Also, another thing you want to think about when you are designing your geode is sanding. If you're going to sand the edges after, how easy is it going to be for you to get into this area here with a big old sander? It's not going to be easy. So, something like this in here, you're probably going to end up doing by hand. Luckily, mine is pretty smooth, so I don't have to do it on this one. Um... But yeah, that's just something that you want to think about. Now, I have had numerous people write in to the channel and tell me that you can use a little bit of water in like a Dawn dish detergent on your fingertip when you are piping out the silicone caulk. And you can kind of, you put the Dawn in the... the I would imagine wet your finger and put a little dawn on it. You could take the sil your finger and rub the inside of the silicone to make it nice and smooth. I haven't tried it yet. I will be. Because that will be a big help if that works. Because then you avoid all the sanding. Okay. So, now that I have this all cleaned up pretty good. This is what I'm going to be using. It's made by Craft Smart. I will link it below. And it is gilding paint. Um, it's basically liquid gold leaf. They sell it in gold, bronze, or I'm sorry, brass, gold, and silver. So you just want to get an old brush that you don't care about. Let's see here, I have this old brush. And you're just basically going to paint it on just like you would any other type of paint. Of course, I can't get into that one, so I will open the old one. It has hardly nothing left in it. This stuff smells so good. All right, so get some on your brush. And let me bring this up to the camera. See how nice that fills in? It gives you a pretty shiny edge. And you really only need one coat of this stuff because it's very strong so that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed the making of these two geodes as for the injecting i don't know how to say to call that a correct term the geode that you inject color into i'm going to give that another go and see if i can perfect it now that I know the things that I did wrong. So you may see another video on that. But if it is, it will only be one video. I'm going to try to stop the two and three part videos because I just, I don't know. The problem is, is I find watching an hour and a half long video annoying and then I find watching parts of a video annoying. So there's gotta be a happy medium there. And I just want to make everybody happy. I don't want to have you guys sitting around for hours trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing and then having to wait till the next day to see the next step. It's just a pain. So I'm going to try to start being mindful of that. And I'm also going to maybe do a couple of beginner videos and label them that because there are people that contact me that are confused about how to mix paints, how much to mix paint into the resin, 
uh, what can you use in resin, stuff like that. So I may do that, but I will label it, I promise. So this way, if you guys already know all that, then you can like skip forward or not even watch it if you don't want to. All right, so I want to wish you all a great day and happy pouring.